Hey there, Anna here from For Real. So you found yourself with a blacklisted IMEI, also known as a bad ESN, on your device? I know, it's a headache, right? Well, don't worry, because I think I can give you a hand. I've seen all the so-called quick fixes. Certain software, expensive services, or risky methods that promise to clear the blacklist in a snap. But let's be real, they're not always the safest, most reliable, or even ethical solutions. So want to know a better way? One that's not just safe and reliable, but also free. Yes, you heard it right. We've got a killer strategy that works for both Apple and Android phones, be it Samsung or any other brand. Stick around and I'll walk you through it step by step. Let's get that pesky blacklisted IMEI cleared off your device for good, shall we? Just a quick note before we dive in. This info is for those who truly own their device and have just lost track of their access details. We're not here to help anyone mess with stolen stuff. We've got to respect the law and each other's rights, okay? This video is all by the book and in line with YouTube's rules. All right, now that we've covered that, let's get back to it. So let's talk about some of the options you have for sorting out this blacklisted IMEI mess. Now, I'm not trying to sell you anything. That's not what this is about. We're just sharing some tools that can help you out. First off, there's Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's a free tool and it's super up-to-date and fast. Then we've got Safe Unlocks. They've been around for a while and have a great reputation. Plus, their service only costs you a buck. And last, but definitely not least, there's ESN Doctor, a service that specializes in IMEI blacklist removal. All of these options are pretty solid. But remember, I'm not pushing these services on you. We're just here to present the solutions that could work best for you. So now you've got a bit of an overview of the tools out there in our next step, we're going to show you how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant to help remove the blacklist. But more on that to come, so stay tuned. Let's delve into the process of removing the blacklist on your IMEI using unlockhere.com. Kick things off by opening your browser, either on your phone or computer, and navigating to unlockhere.com. Upon arrival, you'll be greeted by Nifty, an AI-powered tool created by the Unlock Here team. Simply scroll down a tad and select the Fix IMEI Blacklist option. Next, simply follow along with the app's steps. You'll start by selecting your device's brand, which is made simple due to the app's compatibility with all major and medium-sized brands. After you've made your selection, hit the Next button. Now comes the part where you need to provide your device's IMEI or serial number. If you've never done this before, there's no need to worry. The app includes a handy tutorial. In most cases, you can find the information you need by opening your phone's dial pad and pressing asterisk number sign 06 number sign. This will bring up all the details about your device, including the IMEI number. As you wrap up your application, the app will ask you for some contact information. Simply provide your name and the email address where you would like to receive your unlock details. Before you submit, be sure to read and accept all the app's terms and conditions. After you've made it through these steps, you'll receive an email detailing how to unlock your device. This email generally arrives within 5 to 15 minutes, so keep an eye on your inbox, and don't forget to check your spam or promotions folders. Once you've received the email, the remaining steps are clear and easy to follow. You'll have to confirm your order by copying the verification code provided in the email, clicking on Confirm My Order, pasting the verification code, completing the CAPTCHA, and finally hitting Validate Info and Start Unlock. And that's it. Nifty, the AI-powered tool, does the heavy lifting from here. The final step is to simply insert a compatible SIM card and restart your device. This process is just a few steps, and before you know it, You'll have successfully removed the blacklist IMEI from your device using unlockhere.com. If any issues arise, rest assured that you can chat with live support on the site at any time. But we're not finished quite yet, so stay tuned. One important thing to note about these unlock services is that they are primarily designed to work in first world countries. However, don't worry if you can't access the services or just prefer not to use them. We've got a special offer for viewers like you. Every week we grant 250 free unlocks for users who engage with our videos. To enter this weekly draw, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, 
and leave a comment with your phone's model. For example, a Samsung S22, your IMEI and your country. Just to clarify, your entry is counted as soon as you hit like, click subscribe, and comment with the necessary details. So don't miss out on this opportunity and make sure to complete these steps. All right, so you've tried the services we talked about, but you're still looking for some alternatives to get that IMEI blacklist removed from your device. No worries, I've got some more options for you. Firstly, you could try directly contacting the carrier. Yeah, it may sound simple, but sometimes talking to them about your issue could lead to a solution. Secondly, proof of ownership can definitely be your friend here. If you can show the carrier or authority that blacklisted the IMEI that you are the legitimate owner of the device, they might just remove it from the blacklist. This could be a receipt or any document that shows you're the owner. Thirdly, if your device was reported lost or stolen and you've managed to recover it, let the carrier know. They might just choose to remove it from the blacklist. Finally, if you've got a case where your device was wrongfully blacklisted and you can't get the issue resolved through the carrier, it might be time to consider taking some legal action. I mean, it could get time consuming and potentially costly. So treat this as a last resort, but it could just be the solution you need. So there you have it. A few more ways for you to try and get that IMEI blacklist removed from your device. I really appreciate you sticking around and watching this video. If any of these tips worked for you or if you've got any other questions, don't be shy. Pop them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Just a reminder though, these unlocking services usually work best in first world countries. If you're unable to access them or if you'd rather not use them, there's another option for you. Every week we offer 250 free unlocks for our viewers. To enter for a chance to get one of these unlocks, all you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and comment below with your phone's model, your IMEI, and your country. The moment you complete these steps, you're in the running. Again, it's as simple as liking the video, subscribing, and leaving a comment with those key details. Thanks again for joining me today. Make sure to stay subscribed so you won't miss out on any other useful tutorials or chances to win a free unlock. Until next time, take care.